So we got a text this morning from Tesla telling us that we will have our Model Y performance deliver, but we request to pick it up instead. So here we are at the Costa Mesa service center or delivery center. They're right next to each other. And you can see it's touchless delivery. You basically get a text where your car is currently parked by locating the number on the bottom. We're number five, as you see below the front there. And we're gonna inspect this vehicle quickly. First look before we drive it off this lot. 21 inch Uber wheels, checking for curb rash. It looks fine. Panel gaps. It looks pretty good actually in comparison with the 2020 model that we review. The front usually are misaligned, but here it looks very even. I guess Tesla have been watching video. The headlights are very flush to the body, the fenders. Front second wheel looks good. Door looks good. Door trim slightly off here, but not bad. Something, I don't know if they can adjust. They probably can adjust that trim a little bit. Rear wheels, red caliper, Brembo brakes, looks good. The rear tail lights, at least first glance looks even. Let me take a look at this other wheels first. And this is the fourth wheel, no curb rash. This wheels are prone to curb rash, so definitely want to consider some protection there. The left door, rear door, a slight misalignment on that trim, but not bad. The tail lights, the 2020 version was so bad. This looks very flush. They definitely improved with that. Spoiler carbon fiber looks good. And there's a little scuffle on the rear tail light. We'll see if they can buff that off. And I did confirm that Tesla only give you 100 miles. And you have to put in any service request before then for them to fix it. And then after you inspect the vehicle, you log into your Tesla account, click on accept delivery, and they give you access to enter the vehicle through the app. You sign a few documents that they have ready inside the vehicle. After you sign all the documents, literally it took five, less than five minutes. You scan the barcode, and a Tesla representative come out and they pick up the document. Your key is located inside your compartment, your center council, your key card, and that's it. There's no other contact. Your only contact is when you finish signing all the documents, including your finance, loan, uh, purchase agreement, and anything else DMV related, it will be ready for you on the clipboard in the car. So if you notice here, this model has the HEPA filter, bio defense mode. Any Model Y built over the last two weeks have this bio defense mode. So we're about to head out now and let you view some more videos and clips from us driving on the highway. What I noticed with this latest built model, all the cameras, you can see from the fender cameras, they're high quality, a lot better quality than previous Model Ys or any Tesla I have driven in. And here we're on highway speed and you can literally hear the quietness of this cabin. I'm going to stop talking. This is with the new thicker windows and more sound dampening in the front trunk and doors. And then in the moment, I'll open all the windows so you can hear the difference. So with this, all windows up, music down. Listen. Okay, now I'm going to roll down a few windows, just crack it open so you can hear the difference.
definitely a huge improvement. It sounds as quiet as if you were in a Benz. And I'm not kidding, you have to experience this for yourself. Tesla has definitely stepped up the game with improving their cabin noise issue that they had previously with Model 3 and Model Y. Thank you.